What's up everybody? It's Jared coming at you with a Fit Friday video. Super excited. Today we're going to do a cardio workout together focusing on our cardiovascular fitness and we're not going to waste any time. We're jumping right into it. Here we go. We're starting with our warm up. So we're going to start with about a one to two minute walk. We'll see where we land in the middle of those. Okay. So everybody feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. And here we go. Three, two, one. And we start walking. Awesome. Make sure those feet are coming up off the ground and your arms are moving as well. The reason why we warm up is just so that our legs and our muscles are properly warm, properly warmed up. They're ready to go for the rest of our workout. We don't want to get injured. We want to make sure our muscles are nice and warm for our workout, which is coming today. Speaking of the workout, we're getting into a cardiovascular workout. Now, you might not be too familiar with a cardio workout, and that's okay. Cardio workout is anything that makes your heart beat faster than it normally would. Cardio workouts are super important, and we should be doing some every single week. And they're really important for two main reasons. One is that it makes your heart healthy and strong. It makes your heart muscles healthy and strong. So when we make our heart beat faster than it normally would, it makes those muscles really, really strong and it helps keep that heart healthy for you, okay? Number two is that it helps your blood flow properly to the rest of your body. And the rest of your body needs blood and the proper amount of blood in order to function at its highest capacity. And so when we engage in cardiovascular workouts, when we engage in cardio workouts and cardiovascular fitness, our heart is getting healthy and strong and our blood is properly flowing to the rest of our body, which is a double win. It's a double win. Give me two thumbs up. Double win. Good job. Here we go. So today we're going to be doing a series of workouts that are going to get our heart beating a little bit faster than normally would. You might become out of breath a little bit during some of these exercises and that's okay. That's actually good. That's what we, that's what we're looking for in this cardiovascular video and this cardio workout. Okay, so we're gonna be doing some line jumps today. We're gonna to be doing some stair steps, and then we're gonna end with a little bit of a jog, okay? So if any of these workouts are a little bit too easy for you, in that it doesn't make your heart beat fat, fast, or you're not really getting out of breath, try to make them a little bit harder for yourself. Maybe you jump faster over the line than I do. Maybe you're gonna step up faster, or maybe step up higher when we get into our stair steps, or maybe you're gonna jog a little bit faster in order to get your heart to beat fast and so that you're a little bit out of breath. Not too much, but just a little bit out of breath. But at the same time, if any of these workouts that I do are too hard for you, feel free to scale them back a little bit. Maybe rather than jumping over the line, you walk back and forth over the line. You take a two steps over the line, two steps back. Maybe you don't walk the same speed that I do up on the stairs when we get to our stair steps, or maybe you reduce that jog into a walk at the end of our workout. Remember, we're not comparing workout one workouts to another. You don't have to keep up with me or go at the pace that I'm going. The important thing is we want to get our heart beating faster than it normally would so that we can keep our heart healthy and our heart strong. All right, let's do it together, guys. It's Fit Friday. All right, we only have 10 more seconds left on our walk. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, good job, everybody. That was awesome. Shake out your legs a little bit here. Shake out your legs. Make sure we're getting loose. Okay, the next uh, exercise that we're gonna do in order to warm up our legs, just to get our legs and muscles moving, is, excuse me, is a squat. So, I'm gonna show you what a squat looks like. We love squats here at the Special Olympics. If you've been watching some of my other videos, you've seen me explain squats before as well. So we have our toes pointed forward. We're going to have, we're going to bend at our knees and our hips, but our back and our chest are going to stay straight. We want to keep our back and chest straight. And then our head is going to be level, our eyes looking forward, okay? So when we go down, our arms are going to come up in front of us as well, okay? So we're going to bend at our hips and bend at our knees. And it's almost like we're gonna to try to sit down in, a, in an imaginary chair behind us. And I'll show you what I mean here. Look, so our hips go out toward the back and it's almost like we're sitting down in a little, little bitty chair. Notice how my back is straight and I have a bend in my knee and a bend in my hip as well. And my head is up, okay? 
So, two important things to note here is we want to get deep enough so that our lower leg and our upper leg make a 90 degree angle. Number two is we want to keep our heels on the ground. We want to keep those heels on the ground for the entirety of the movement. We don't want our knees to go over our toes. Because when our knees go over our toes, look what happens. Our, our heel comes off the ground. That's not what we want. We want to keep our heel on the ground so that our knees stay over our feet, okay? So once we're in our down position, then we come up as straight as possible, and that's one, okay? So when we go down, we sit down in that chair, our knee stays in line with our feet, our heels stay on the ground, and then we stand up. Okay, so let's do 10 of those together. Ready? Three, two, one, down, and up. One, down, and up. Two, down, and up. Three, down, and up. Four, down, and up. Five, down, and up. Six, down, and up. Seven, down, and up. Eight, down, and up. Nine, down, and up. 10, good job, everybody. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do to warm up, take a little bit of time, Shake out your legs a little bit. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna to do to warm up is called a good morning. We've done these as well in other Fit Friday videos. But good morning, we're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward as well. Slight bend in the knee, our back and our chest are gonna stay straight again, okay? And then our hands are gonna go behind our head, just like this, okay? And with our hands behind our head, all we're gonna do is we're gonna bend at our hip. It's the only thing that should really bend. So we're gonna bend at our hip to go, go down until you feel a little bit of a stretch in the back of your legs here or in the muscles called your hamstrings. So you're gonna go back and then you're just gonna stand straight up like that, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to squeeze your butt muscles as you come up as well, okay? So we're gonna go down here. Our legs are staying straight and our back is staying straight and then we come up and squeeze. All right, good? Okay, so let's do 10 of those together here. Ready? Hands behind your head, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. Here we go, three, two, one, down, and up. One, down, and up. Two, down, and up. Three, down, and up. Four, down, and up. Five, down, and up. Six, down, and up. Seven, down, and up. Eight, down, and up. Nine, down, and up. 10, good job, everybody. Way to go. Okay, that concludes our warm up for today. Take some deep breaths. Deep breath. Good job, everybody, all right. Okay. So the first workout that we're gonna do for today is called a line jump. If you need some more time to recover after that warm up, you need some more time to catch your breath, feel free to pause the video and then resume it when you're ready, okay? So we're gonna jump right into our line jumps here. So, ha, jump into line jumps. Ha, see what I did there, there you go. So you might be thinking to yourself, man, I don't really have a line in my bedroom, that's okay. I don't have a line really here that I could jump over, but I do have a pair of pants. And I'm pretty sure you guys have a pair of pants in your room as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch one leg out and I'll put one leg out right in front of me. And that's gonna be my line that I'm gonna jump over, okay? Maybe you could use a, a phone charger. Maybe you could do a power cord and just spread that out on the floor and jump over that line. Maybe you could take a shirt and take one of the arms of the long sleeve shirt and stretch it out. Maybe that could be your line. Do whatever you need to do with whatever you got at home in order to make a line on the floor. So the important thing here is we're gonna jump forward and backward over the line. So when we jump, we're gonna want our, our toes pointed forward, we're gonna want a slight bend in our knee, okay? And when we jump, we wanna land with a, a soft landing, okay? Oh, my lights turned off. I'll be right back, I'm gonna turn our lights back on. I'm back, 
The lights are on. All right. So as I was saying, we want to land softly on the other side of our line, okay? So we're going to jump and we're going to land with a light, slight bend in our knee. So that's so that we don't hurt our feet or our ankles even when we're jumping and when we're landing. So we're going to jump 10 times forward and backward, forward and backward over the line. And then we're going to jump 10 times side to side over the line. Okay? All right. And when we jump side to side, remember, keep both of our feet together and we're just jumping side to side or laterally over our line. And remember, if this is too hard for you, feel free to step over the line and step back just like this. Or when we go side to side, like this. Cool? All right, ready? Here we go. 10 line jumps. Ready? Three, two, one, over and back. One, over and back. Two, over and back. Three, over and back. Four, over and back. Five, over and back. Six, over and back. Seven, over and back. Eight, over and back. Nine, over and back. 10, good job. Take three deep breaths. Good job, everybody. All right, here we go. We're starting on our side to side. If you need more time to catch your breath, again, feel free to pause that video and return it. We're going side to side over the line. Ready? Three, two, one, over and back. One, over and back. Two, over and back. Three, over and back. Four, over and back. Five, over and back. Six, over and back. Seven, over and back. Eight, over and back. Nine, over and back. Ten. Way to go, everybody. That was our line jumps. If you want a little bit of an extra challenge, do those line jumps over again. Maybe do ten more. Forward and ten more side to side. You can do it. All right. So, our next exercise that we're going to do, I don't need these pants anymore. See you later. Is our stair step exercise. So if you see here, I just got a little cardboard box here, and that's what I'm gonna use as my stairs. But feel free to use some actual stairs that you find in your house, okay? So all we're gonna do for this exercise is we're just gonna step on our stair with one foot, and then step on with the other foot, and then come down with one foot and down with the other foot. Step up and step down. Step up and step down, okay? So we're gonna do we're gonna do steps up and steps down. We're gonna start with our right foot up and our right foot down. Right foot up, right foot down. Right foot up and right foot down, okay? And then we'll do 30 of those and then we'll switch to our other leg and do 30 of those all together, all right? Ready? Three, two, one with our right leg up and down. One, up and down. Two, up and down. Three, up and down, four, up, and down, five, up, and down, six, up, and down, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, come on guys, keep going, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we're half, over halfway there, come on. That was 17, here's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, five more, 26, come on guys, you can do it, 27, 28, 29, here we go. 30, good job everybody, way to go, good job. Take, we'll take some time here and then we'll start, shake it out a little bit, maybe reach up really high. Ooh, reach up really high, get some nice good stretch in there. Good, all right, here we go. We're starting with our left leg now, we're going with the left leg first and we're gonna do 30 of them again. Ready, up on the stair. So we're gonna go left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, up, 
down, one, left, right, left, two, left, three, four, left, right, left, right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, halfway there, fifteen, let's go, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, ten more, come on, we can do it, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Good job, everybody. That concludes our stair step here. Good job. Way to go. Good job, everybody. That was awesome. You did so good. So the last thing we have for our cardio workout today, the last thing that we have is our jog, all right? So we're gonna do about a two minute jog. Now, what makes this a little bit different from a walk is we were staying, keeping one foot on the ground as we kind of go. But with our jog, we're gonna be kind of jumping off one foot and going to the next foot, okay? So we're ending with about a two minute jog here, okay? So everybody ready? This is gonna be hard, it's gonna be good, it's gonna make our heart pump a little bit. And if it's not, make sure to go a little bit faster than even I'm going, all right? Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Good, here we go, we're jogging, we're jogging. Let's go, y'all. This is the last thing we have for our cardio workout today. You guys have been so good, you guys have been doing great. Here we go, we're keeping our jog. Try to stay, if you can, on the balls of your feet, which is just the front part of your feet. We wanna be light on our feet while we're jogging. And you can move your hands forward and backward just like I am. Doing good, we're swinging our arms as we're kind of jogging in place here. Good job, everybody, good. You know, one other thing, that helps keep your heart healthy and strong is by eating a healthy diet. Now, what is a healthy diet comprised of? A healthy diet is comprised of a lot of fruits and a lot of vegetables. According to the My Plate, half of your plate on a normal meal should be either fruits or vegetables. Fruits are things like strawberries, bananas, apples, raspberries, blueberries, cherries, those are some types of fruits. And some types of vegetables include broccoli, celery, carrots, those are pretty common. Maybe you have cucumber or even peppers are vegetables as well. And when eating fruits and vegetables, it's really important that we go for a variety of colors. Like strawberries are red, but blueberries are blue. That's two different types of colors. And even with peppers, you can have a red pepper, a green pepper, a orange pepper, and a yellow pepper. Those are all different types of colors. So when we're eating fruits and vegetables, it's important that we go for as many colors of the rainbow as possible. And that's gonna help our heart stay healthy by eating lots of fruits and vegetables, including them in our diet. Good job, everybody. If you can't tell, I'm starting to lose my breath a little bit here too which is good, it means my heart's moving, that my heart's going big and strong, and it's staying healthy. All right, everybody, we got 30 seconds left. Here we go. Push hard till the end. Push hard till the end. Here we go, you guys are doing great. You guys are doing awesome. All right, here we go, 15, 14, 13, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Woo, way to go. That was a good, that was a good workout. That was a good heart pump. I can feel my heart beating a little bit faster than it normally would. I'm a little bit more out of breath than I normally am. That's how I know my cardio workout was good. Thumbs up. Good job, everybody. Thanks for joining me today on this Fit Friday. 
feel free as you're kind of exiting this video, as you're kind of turning off this video, to go for a little bit of a walk, maybe cool yourself down a little bit, shake out your legs, maybe do some toe touch stretches, or stretch really, really high. Good. We're doing great. Thanks for joining me on this Fit Friday, doing some cardio fitness to make our heart strong and healthy. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.